are sort of three groups of people that we think about. First of all, is the rate, particularly in the financial industry, you think about the regulators and do they trust the boards and so forth. I think probably there's that, that trust is being restored a little bit. The shareholders are the second group I would appoint to, the public shareholders. And I think by and large, since the banks have kind of recovered, uh, you know, and are making money now and have improved their, uh, their various ratios, the shareholders are not unhappy. The group that's really, I think, still very suspicious is the general public. Uh, you know, it's uh, a lot of people were hurt very much by the recession. You know, there was a point right after the recession where uh, American CEOs were less popular than used car salesmen, country by country and even continent by continent. Uh, in, in North America and in the UK, in the English-speaking countries, I think, and in many of the European countries, there has been a trend for shareholders to move from being individuals to being institutions. In our country, it's pretty clear. The board always wins, as the lawyers like to say. The, the laws are so arranged, and the judicial decisions which are being ma have been made over the years give the board really the ultimate power. There are shareholders who are trying to exert all the power they can get. They can get. Uh, and the question of how they relate to boards and management is an ongoing drama, I think, and it varies from one company to the other. There, there's two ways to think about this compensation, okay? The senior executives, for sure, get an awful lot of money. I'm not arguing they don't. But when you look at the proportion of the total wealth of the company, it's not that big. So you have to ask yourself, well, if you're gonna vote on pay, why shouldn't the shareholders vote on a lot of other big decisions? There is a feeling that these senior executives get paid way too much compared to, certainly compared to the people who work in their companies, okay, and compared to the general public. And they use the say on pay as an expression of their dissatisfaction with the profitability of the company or some other decision which has been made. It gives them a weapon. 